Imagine standing on the surface of a new world, where the sky glows with a hue never seen on Earth, and the horizon unfolds onto landscapes both strange and wondrous. This is not the realm of science fiction, but a possibility that lies within the grasp of our generation. As we peer through the cosmic veil in search of Earth 2.0, we stand at the precipice of an unprecedented adventure that could redefine humanity's place in the universe. But what does this mean for us? And are we ready for the monumental leap from our blue marble to a new uncharted world? The term Earth 2.0 inches captures the imagination of scientists, writers, and dreamers alike. It refers to a planet outside our solar system that is similar enough to Earth in terms of size, temperature, and atmospheric composition to potentially support life as we know it. The quest for Earth 2.0 stems from humanity's innate curiosity and the existential need to find alternatives for survival beyond our planet. This concept has gained traction in the scientific community, especially with the discovery of exoplanets that fall within their stars' habitable zones, regions where conditions might be right for liquid water, a crucial ingredient for life. The Kepler Space Telescope, launched by NASA, has been instrumental in identifying these exoplanets. Through these explorations, the idea of Earth 2.0 has evolved from science fiction to a potential reality, opening up new possibilities for understanding our universe and our place within it. The discovery of such a planet would not only be a monumental scientific breakthrough, but could also have profound implications for the future of humanity. The significance of discovering a new habitable planet, Earth 2.0, is multifaceted. Scientifically, it would represent a landmark achievement in astronomy and space exploration, offering unprecedented insights into planetary formation, atmospheres, and potentially even life beyond Earth. From an existential perspective, an Earth-like planet could serve as a potential destination for future human colonization, offering a solution to the overpopulation and resource depletion issues facing our planet. It also raises philosophical and ethical questions about humanity's role in the universe and our responsibility towards other potentially habitable worlds. Furthermore, the discovery would likely ignite a new era of technological advancement, as the challenges of reaching and potentially colonizing another planet would require significant innovations in space travel, life support systems, and sustainable living technologies. The cultural and societal impact would also be profound, potentially altering our collective worldview and inspiring a new generation of scientists, engineers, and explorers. The search for Earth 2.0 is not just a scientific endeavor. It is a pursuit that cuts across various aspects of human thought and society, making it one of the most exciting and significant quests of our time. The concept of Earth 2.0 inches is anchored in the search for an exoplanet that closely mirrors the characteristics of Earth, thereby offering the potential for habitability. Key characteristics of such a planet include a size and mass similar to Earth's, which suggests a rocky composition and a stable surface. The presence of liquid water is a critical criterion, which requires the planet to be within the habitable zone of its star, where temperatures allow water to exist in liquid form. Additionally, an Earth 2.0 would ideally have an atmosphere with a composition supportive of life, potentially including gases like oxygen and nitrogen. Other factors like the presence of a magnetic field to protect from stellar radiation, and a stable orbit to avoid extreme temperature variations, also play a crucial role. The search for Earth 2.0 is driven by advanced telescopes and space missions, like the Kepler and TESS missions, which have identified several candidates that exhibit some of these Earth-like characteristics. The discovery of such a planet is not only significant for the possibility of life beyond Earth, but also provides insights into planetary formation and the uniqueness of our own planet in the cosmos. When comparing Earth 2.0 to our current Earth, it's important to consider both similarities and differences that would impact its habitability and potential for human colonization. In terms of similarities, an Earth 2.0 would ideally have a similar day length and seasonal cycle, which are crucial for maintaining a stable climate and supporting a variety of life forms. The presence of water in all three states, solid, liquid, and gas, is another similarity that would be vital for any form of life similar to that on Earth. Differences, however, could be significant. The type of star Earth 2.0 orbits could greatly affect conditions on the planet. For instance, a red dwarf star might expose the planet to more harmful solar radiation. 
Gravitational differences could also impact atmospheric conditions and the development of life. Additionally, the age of the planet could influence its geological activity and atmospheric composition, which in turn affect its ability to support life. A younger planet might have more volcanic activity, while an older one might have a thinner atmosphere. Understanding these comparisons is crucial in assessing the potential of Earth 2.0 as a habitat for life as we know it, or as a new home for humanity. The search for Earth 2.0 is a chapter in the larger narrative of space exploration, a journey that has evolved dramatically over the past century. Initially focused on understanding our own solar system, the quest gradually expanded to the stars beyond. The launch of the Hubble Space Telescope in 1990 marked a significant leap, allowing astronomers to observe distant stars and galaxies with unprecedented clarity. However, it was the Kepler Space Telescope, launched in 2009, that revolutionized the search for exoplanets. Kepler's primary mission was to survey a portion of our region of the Milky Way to discover earth size and smaller planets in or near the habitable zone and determine the fraction of the hundreds of billions of stars in our galaxy that might have such planets. This mission shifted the focus from mere observation to actively seeking planets that might host life. Since then, thousands of exoplanets have been discovered, a handful of which are considered potentially habitable. The search for Earth 2.0 is not just about finding another planet, it's about understanding our place in the universe and the possibility of life beyond our solar system. Each discovery brings us closer to answering profound questions about the uniqueness of Earth and the potential for life elsewhere. The pursuit of Earth 2.0 has been propelled by remarkable technological advancements. The Kepler Space Telescope, with its ability to detect the faint dip in light as a planet passes in front of its star, has been pivotal in identifying potential Earth-like planets. Following Kepler, the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, TESS, launched in 2018, took over the mantle. TESS uses an array of wide-field cameras to survey 85% of the sky, searching for exoplanets around the brightest dwarf stars. Ground-based observatories have also played a crucial role. Instruments like the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope, VLT, and the upcoming Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, employ sophisticated methods like radial velocity measurements, where the gravitational pull of a planet causes its star to wobble slightly, indicating the planet's presence and mass. Advances in spectroscopy allow scientists to analyze the composition of exoplanet atmospheres, searching for biosignatures like oxygen or methane. Future projects like the James Webb Space Telescope aim to delve deeper into these atmospheric studies, these technological strides are not just about finding Earth 2.0, they represent a leap in our understanding of the cosmos and our ability to explore it. The quest for Earth 2.0 has yielded several notable discoveries and candidates. Perhaps the most famous is the TRAPPIST-1 system, discovered in 2017, which houses seven Earth-sized planets, three of which are in the habitable zone. Another significant find is Kepler, 452b, often referred to as Earth's cousin, discovered in 2015. It orbits a star similar to our sun and resides in the habitable zone. Proxima Centauri b, discovered in 2016, orbits the closest star to the sun and also lies within the habitable zone. These discoveries are just the tip of the iceberg. Each of these exoplanets presents unique conditions and possibilities, and their study offers invaluable insights into the diversity of planetary systems. While none of these planets have been confirmed as Earth 2.0, they represent the best candidates to date and have significantly advanced our understanding of what to look for in our search for a second Earth. The dream of colonizing an Earth-like planet faces numerous challenges, with long-distance space travel being one of the most daunting. The vast distances involved in interstellar travel are almost incomprehensible. The nearest star systems are light years away, meaning that even traveling at the speed of light, a feat currently beyond our technological capabilities, it would take years to reach them. Current propulsion technologies, such as chemical rockets, are woefully inadequate for such journeys, necessitating the development of advanced propulsion systems like nuclear thermal rockets, or even theoretical concepts like warp drives. Apart from the technological hurdles, long-duration space travel poses severe risks to human health. Prolonged exposure to microgravity leads to muscle atrophy and bone density loss. Cosmic radiation presents a significant threat 
outside the protective shield of Earth's atmosphere and magnetosphere, increasing the risk of cancer and other health issues. Psychological challenges of long-term isolation and confinement also need to be addressed. These factors make long-distance space travel one of the most significant barriers to the colonization of distant planets. Even if the monumental challenge of reaching an Earth-like exoplanet is overcome, colonizing it presents its own set of technological and biological hurdles. Firstly, technology for sustainable living in an alien environment needs to be developed. This includes life support systems capable of providing air, water, and food for an indefinite period. Habitat construction in an extraterrestrial environment, potentially with different atmospheric and gravitational conditions, presents significant engineering challenges. From a biological perspective, the human body is adapted to Earth's specific conditions. Different gravity on another planet could have unknown effects on human health, including muscle and bone development, cardiovascular health, and other physiological processes. The potential for unknown pathogens or toxic substances in the environment also poses a risk. Furthermore, the psychological impact of living on a completely different planet, potentially with no return to Earth, raises concerns about mental health and social dynamics in a small, isolated community. These challenges require not just technological solutions, but also advances in medical science, psychology, and social engineering. Addressing the challenges of space colonization requires innovative solutions and extensive research, much of which is currently underway. In terms of propulsion, research is being conducted into more efficient and faster space travel methods, such as ion drives, nuclear thermal propulsion, and even breakthrough concepts like the EM drive. Projects like Breakthrough Starshot are exploring the idea of sending small, light-powered spacecraft to nearby stars. In addressing the health risks of long-duration spaceflight, research on the International Space Station, ISS, is providing valuable insights. Experiments on the ISS are helping us understand how the human body adapts to long-term space living, leading to the development of countermeasures like advanced exercise regimens and radiation shielding technologies. Bio-regenerative life support systems, which recycle waste and produce food and oxygen, are also being developed. For colonization, 3D printing technology shows promise in building habitats using local materials, a technique known as in-situ resource utilization, ISRU. Advances in genetic engineering and biotechnology could potentially help humans adapt better to extraterrestrial environments. Additionally, research in psychology and social dynamics is essential for preparing humans for the unique challenges of living on a new planet. These efforts represent the cutting edge of current research, laying the groundwork for the future feasibility of space colonization. The ethical implications of colonizing a new planet are profound and multifaceted. One primary concern is the preservation of any potential indigenous life forms. The discovery of even microbial life would pose significant ethical questions regarding our right to alter another world. This leads to the broader issue of planetary protection, ensuring that human activities do not harmfully contaminate other planets. There's also the ethical consideration of who gets to go to a new planet. Decisions around selecting individuals or groups for interstellar travel could raise issues of inequality and discrimination. The potential exploitation of new planetary resources opens up ethical debates similar to those surrounding colonialism and environmental degradation on Earth. There is also a moral responsibility to ensure that the colonization of a new planet does not repeat the mistakes made in Earth's history, such as the exploitation of natural resources without regard for long-term sustainability. These ethical challenges require a new framework of space ethics, one that considers not just the needs and desires of humanity, but also the intrinsic value of other worlds and their potential ecosystems. The colonization of a new planet would have profound impacts on human society and cultures. It would represent one of the most significant milestones in human history, potentially leading to a shift in how we view ourselves in the universe. Such a monumental endeavor could unite humanity, fostering a sense of global identity and cooperation. However, it could also lead to divisions, particularly if access to space colonization is limited to certain nations or socioeconomic groups. The creation of a spacefaring society would likely lead to the development of new cultures and social structures, influenced by that unique challenges and experiences of living on a new planet. This could result in a cultural divergence between Earth and the new colony over time. 
The transfer of Earth's cultural, political, and social systems to another planet raises questions about the preservation of cultural heritage and the evolution of new cultural identities. Additionally, the psychological and social impact on the first generations born on a new planet, who may never experience life on Earth, would be significant. These individuals would likely develop unique perspectives and cultures, further diversifying human experience and identity. Interplanetary responsibility and stewardship are critical considerations in the colonization of a new planet. As we venture into space, there is a moral imperative to act as responsible stewards of the planets we explore and potentially inhabit. This means considering the long-term impacts of human actions on these new worlds. The concept of stewardship extends beyond mere conservation. It involves a proactive approach to ensuring that our activities are sustainable and do not jeopardize the potential for life, either existing or future. There is also the responsibility to use the resources of a new planet ethically and sustainably, avoiding the pitfalls of overexploitation and environmental degradation that have plagued Earth. Additionally, there is a need for international cooperation and agreement on how to approach space colonization. This includes the development of legal frameworks and guidelines to ensure that space exploration and colonization are conducted responsibly, ethically, and for the benefit of all humanity. The idea of interplanetary stewardship challenges us to think not just as citizens of a nation or inhabitants of Earth, but as members of a larger cosmic community with responsibilities that extend beyond our immediate needs and desires. Comparing the environment of Earth 2.0 with Earth's is crucial in assessing the planet's habitability and the feasibility of human colonization. Key environmental aspects to consider include atmosphere, climate, water availability, and geological features. Earth 2.0's atmosphere might differ in composition and thickness, affecting everything from breathing to weather patterns. Climate is another critical factor. An Earth-like planet would ideally have a temperate climate with manageable extremes. However, differences in its star's radiation, planetary tilt, and orbital path could lead to varying climatic conditions compared to Earth. Water, essential for life, needs to be present in liquid form. The existence of oceans, lakes, and rivers would be a positive indicator, but their chemical composition might differ from Earth's. Geologically, Earth 2.0 could have varying landforms, tectonic activity, and mineral resources, impacting everything from natural disasters to resource availability. Understanding these environmental similarities and differences is key to planning for colonization and ensuring the sustainability of human activities on a new planet. Earth's environmental challenges provide critical lessons for any attempt to colonize Earth 2.0. Issues like climate change, biodiversity loss, and resource depletion underscore the importance of sustainable practices. One key lesson is the need to balance economic development with environmental preservation. On Earth, industrialization and urbanization have led to significant environmental degradation. Applying these lessons to Earth 2.0 involves developing technologies and practices that minimize environmental impact. Another lesson is the importance of understanding and respecting the intricate balances within ecosystems. Introducing non-native species or disrupting natural cycles could have unforeseen consequences on a new planet. Additionally, Earth's experience highlights the need for long-term environmental planning and global cooperation to address environmental challenges. These lessons can guide the establishment of sustainable living practices on Earth 2.0, ensuring that the mistakes made on Earth are not repeated on another planet. Sustainable living is paramount in the colonization of Earth 2.0, not just for the survival of human settlers, but also for the preservation of the planet's environment. Sustainability in this context means living in a way that meets human needs without compromising the environment or the ability of future generations to meet their needs. This involves the development of renewable energy sources to avoid reliance on finite resources and the creation of closed-loop systems for water and waste to minimize impact on the local environment. It also includes sustainable agriculture practices that do not deplete soil nutrients or rely heavily on chemical inputs. Building designs and materials should be adapted to local conditions to minimize energy usage and environmental impact. Beyond the practical aspects, sustainable living on Earth 2.0 also involves a cultural shift, a recognition that humans are part of a larger ecosystem and must live in harmony with it. This mindset is crucial in ensuring that human activities 
do not irreparably damage the new world they seek to make home. The role of governments and private entities in space exploration has evolved significantly over the years. Initially, space exploration was dominated by government agencies like NASA, USA, Roscosmos, Russia, ESA, Europe, and CNSA, China, funded by their respective governments and driven by scientific, military, and national prestige objectives. These agencies have been responsible for pioneering missions and technological advancements in space exploration. However, the 21st century has seen a surge in private sector involvement. Companies like SpaceX, Blue Origin, and Virgin Galactic, driven by commercial interests and the vision of their founders, are now major players in space exploration. This shift has introduced new dynamics into the field, with private entities contributing to innovation, reducing costs through competition and new technologies, and opening up space exploration to commercial and tourism opportunities. The collaboration between government and private entities is also growing, as seen in NASA's partnerships with private companies for cargo and crew missions to the International Space Station. This partnership model represents a new era of space exploration, where the combined resources and expertise of both sectors are propelling humanity further into space. The economic aspects of space exploration, especially in the context of Earth 2.0, present both challenges and opportunities. The costs of space missions, especially interstellar ones, are astronomically high, involving extensive research and development, advanced technology, and significant risk factors. Funding these missions requires substantial investment, either from government budgets or private capital. However, the economic opportunities are equally vast. Space exploration has historically driven technological advancements that have created new markets and industries. The pursuit of Earth 2.0 could spur advancements in sectors like aerospace engineering, robotics, artificial intelligence, and renewable energy. The potential for mining resources from other planets or asteroids presents another economic opportunity, though it also raises ethical and legal questions. Furthermore, the colonization of a new planet could eventually lead to new economic systems and trade, both interplanetary and back to Earth. The economic landscape of space exploration and colonization is thus a complex mix of high costs, high risks, and potentially high rewards. Establishing political frameworks for governing a new planet like Earth 2.0 is an unprecedented challenge, requiring innovative thinking and international cooperation. One approach could be to extend existing international space law, which currently governs activities in outer space, to include the governance of new colonies. However, these laws would need significant expansion and adaptation to address the complexities of governing a human population in a new world. Another approach could be the development of a new autonomous governance system for the colony, perhaps drawing on democratic principles, but also adapting to the unique challenges of life on a new planet. This could involve novel political structures and social contracts, with a strong focus on sustainability and planetary stewardship. The governance of Earth 2.0 would also need to consider the relationship between the new colony and Earth, addressing issues such as independence, representation, resource sharing, and conflict resolution. The development of such political frameworks would require unprecedented international collaboration, with a focus on ensuring fairness, equity, and the well-being of all inhabitants. Public perception of the idea of Earth 2.0 is a complex mix of fascination, skepticism, and a range of emotions in between. For many, the concept represents a beacon of hope and a testament to human ingenuity. The possibility of finding a new habitable world evokes a sense of adventure and the enduring spirit of exploration. This perspective is often fueled by a growing concern about the sustainability of life on Earth due to environmental degradation, overpopulation, and resource depletion. However, there is also a degree of skepticism and apprehension. Some view the search for Earth 2.0 as an escape from addressing Earth's problems, arguing that resources would be better spent solving pressing issues at home. Others express concerns about the potential for repeating historical mistakes of colonization and exploitation in a new world. These varied perceptions reflect broader attitudes towards space exploration and humanity's future, influenced by factors like education, cultural background, and socio-political beliefs. The public's view of Earth 2.0 is not static. It evolves with new discoveries, technological advancements, 
and changing global circumstances, making it a fascinating barometer of societal hopes and fears about the future. Earth 2.0 has captured the imagination of artists, filmmakers, and authors, leading to diverse cultural representations in media and literature. In science fiction, Earth 2.0 often embodies the ultimate frontier, a new world full of mysteries and opportunities for human civilization. Films and books exploring this theme typically delve into the challenges of interstellar travel, the wonder of discovering a new world, and the complexities of starting anew in an alien environment. These stories can range from utopian visions of harmonious new beginnings to dystopian tales cautioning against hubris and ecological negligence. The portrayal of Earth 2.0 in media often reflects contemporary societal concerns, such as environmentalism, technological ethics, and existential questions about human destiny. These cultural narratives not only entertain, but also shape public opinion and discourse about space exploration and the potential of finding a second Earth. They act as a mirror, reflecting our aspirations, fears, and ethical dilemmas regarding the future of humanity in space. The idea of Earth 2.0 has a significant influence on the aspirations and fears of future generations. For many young people, the prospect of discovering and possibly inhabiting a new planet ignites a sense of wonder and aspiration. It inspires careers in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, STEM, and fuels a passion for exploration and innovation. This influence is evident in the increasing interest in space programs, planetary science, and sustainability studies. However, Alongside these aspirations, there are also fears and uncertainties. The potential challenges and risks associated with colonizing a new planet, such as isolation, unknown health impacts, and the possibility of failure, can evoke apprehension. Furthermore, the ethical and environmental considerations of such an endeavor raise questions about humanity's role and responsibilities in the universe. The concept of Earth 2.0 serves as a catalyst for young people to think critically about their future both on Earth and potentially beyond, shaping their views on topics like environmental stewardship, interstellar exploration, and the ethical boundaries of human expansion. The quest for Earth 2.0 is being propelled forward by a variety of current projects and missions. Notably, NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, TESS, mission is playing a crucial role in identifying exoplanets in the nearest solar systems. TESS aims to find thousands of new planets orbiting bright stars, which will then be further studied for habitability characteristics. Alongside TESS, the James Webb Space Telescope, launched in late 2021, is expected to provide unprecedented insights into the atmospheres of exoplanets, potentially identifying signs of habitability or even life. Additionally, ground-based observatories like the Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, currently under construction, will contribute significantly to the study of exoplanets by directly imaging them and analyzing their atmospheres. Apart from these, there are numerous studies and research projects focused on understanding the conditions necessary for a planet to be considered an Earth analog. These missions and projects are not only critical in the search for Earth 2.0, but also in expanding our understanding of the universe and our place within it. Predictions and theories about human expansion into space encompass a range of scenarios, from establishing colonies on Mars and the Moon to venturing to exoplanets. Many scientists and space exploration advocates predict that the next few decades will see the establishment of permanent human bases on the Moon and Mars, serving as stepping stones for further space exploration. The concept of multi-generational ships, large spacecraft designed to support human life for the decades or centuries required to travel to distant stars, is another area of speculation and theoretical research. Additionally, there's increasing discussion about the technological advancements required for such endeavors, including propulsion technology, life support systems, and sustainable habitats. The idea of terraforming, modifying the environment of a planet to make it habitable for humans, is also a subject of theoretical exploration, particularly for Mars. These theories and predictions not only push the boundaries of current technology, but also challenge us to rethink the possibilities of human life beyond Earth. International cooperation is seen as a vital component in the future of space exploration, especially in the context of finding and potentially colonizing Earth 2.0. The challenges and costs associated with such missions are beyond the capability of any single nation or organization. 
Collaborative efforts like the International Space Station, ISS, have demonstrated the benefits of pooling resources, expertise, and funding from multiple countries. Future missions to explore distant exoplanets or establish colonies will likely require even greater levels of cooperation. This includes not just the sharing of financial and technological resources, but also collaboration on legal, ethical, and policy issues related to space exploration. The United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs, UNUSA, plays a key role in facilitating international space law and cooperative efforts. The prospect of colonizing another planet also raises the need for a globally unified approach to planetary protection, environmental stewardship, and the equitable distribution of any discovered resources. International cooperation in space exploration can serve as a model for overcoming terrestrial challenges, promoting peace, and fostering a shared sense of humanity's destiny in the cosmos. The potential of Earth 2.0 as humanity's new home is a subject that captures the essence of human curiosity, ambition, and the instinct for survival. The discovery of an Earth-like planet in a habitable zone presents a profound opportunity for the future of humanity. It could offer an alternative habitat for human life, a solution to the overpopulation and resource scarcity on Earth, and a new frontier for scientific exploration and discovery. However, this potential is coupled with significant challenges, technological, environmental, ethical, and social. The feasibility of reaching and colonizing such a planet, maintaining sustainable ecosystems, and creating equitable societies in space are complex issues that require advancements in science and technology, as well as thoughtful consideration of ethical and social implications. The idea of Earth 2.0 also compels humanity to reflect on our stewardship of Earth and the need to balance exploration with the preservation of our home planet. As such, the potential of Earth 2.0 lies not only in its possibility as a new home for humanity, but also in its role as a catalyst for growth, innovation, and introspection. The continued exploration and study of outer space, particularly in the search for Earth 2.0, hold immense importance for humanity. This endeavor is more than just a scientific quest. It represents the pinnacle of human aspiration and the perpetual drive to understand our universe. Space exploration has historically led to significant technological and scientific advancements that have had profound impacts on everyday life on Earth. The pursuit of knowledge about Earth 2.0 and other celestial bodies continues this tradition of innovation, potentially leading to breakthroughs in areas like renewable energy, material science, and even medicine. Moreover, space exploration challenges us to think globally and act cooperatively as it requires a level of international collaboration unparalleled in other fields. The study of distant worlds also provides valuable insights into our own planet's climate, geology, and history, furthering our understanding of Earth's place in the cosmos. Ultimately, the exploration of space and the search for Earth 2.0 remind us of our shared humanity and the responsibility to preserve our home planet even as we reach for the stars. The implications of the search for and potential colonization of Earth 2.0 for the future of humanity are profound and far-reaching. This endeavor represents a pivotal point in human history, a moment that could define the future trajectory of our species. It holds the promise of not just a new world to inhabit, but also a new era of human understanding and capability. The challenges associated with this venture, from interstellar travel to the ethical and environmental considerations of colonizing a new planet, will drive innovation and foster a new level of global cooperation. However, this journey also necessitates a careful reflection on what it means to be human and our responsibilities towards both our species and other potential life forms in the universe. The search for Earth 2.0 is a mirror reflecting our fears, hopes, and dreams as a species. It compels us to confront the limitations of our current existence and to ponder the boundless possibilities of the future. As we stand on the cusp of this new frontier, the decisions we make and the paths we choose will significantly impact not only our own generation, but also those to come.